Hey, when will I be YouTube famous? I don't know, probably never. What I do know is I'm still Angie, this is still 4F Beauty, and you are very much welcome. Uh, apologies for the fan, it's ridiculously hot in my kitchen despite the fact I have no heating on. I have genuinely no idea what's going on with the British weather right now, but hey ho. Right, you will have seen from the thumbnail, the title, and if you read any of it, the description, that, well, I've not been filming for a little while because of side effects to my first Covid jab and extreme pain from cellulitis. I've been doing a bit of painsomnia shopping. So if you want to find out what goodies I've got in here, you've got the best seat in the house. Sammy's here. So it's time to grab a drink, grab a snack. Put your feet up, get comfy, and enjoy seeing what I've been splurging on. My poor back balance. Right. Let's start off with what is effectively PR. Um, I have a Gerard Cosmetics code, which is Bomber. Um, when they have special events on the code doesn't work but there is still a link you can use which shows them that you've gone to them from my channel that's linked in the description box below along with all of my other um, discount codes and although I don't get paid by Gerard I do every so often get given um, a set amount of money that I can then spend on restocking some items, trying out new things, etc. So, these are my latest bits that I have ordered with my, I don't know what you call it really, I don't know, PR credit maybe, I'm not sure. Um, but you, you get these regardless of how many people have actually used your code. So, do you know one of the first things I'm going to be stocking up on is my Slay All Days. I absolutely adore these. Um, I've got oily combo skin and due to side effects from pain and pain meds that I'm on, I do get an awful lot of facial sweating. This and the Urban Decay All Nighter are the only sprays that will hold my makeup on, but the All Nighter one tends to be a bit more drying to my skin. What I love about it now is that they now send it like this with just a screw top, and they send you the pump separately so you've got less likelihood of it actually leaking en route. So I got a watermelon which happens to be one of my favourites. Let's just pop the thing in there so that when I put it in the drawer, no I'm just going to have to put it on I think. has this little cardboard thing to stop the bottle rolling up and down in the box and obviously once you put the pump in it then doesn't roll up and down in the box and the other scent that I got is cucumber uh, the only scent of theirs that I don't like and that I can't use is the jasmine one. Um, there's something in that that just makes my eyes stream. 
so if you've only tried the jasmine one try something like um, coconut or cucumber or the peach one which um, are the ones that, that, I, that I, are the least fumy kind of thing if you know what I mean by that so I grabbed a long wear hydra matte liquid lipstick in shade boss lady give you a bit of a swatch of that because although I like my lipstick lipsticks mask wearing you need your long wear ones because you, know, you wear a lipstick underneath a mask and it's just all over your face I grabbed another one of their Hydra Matte lip Lipsticks in shade 1995. This is one of their best sellers. And you can see why it's a really lovely nude. I don't know why I'm putting them back in the boxes though. I then grabbed a glitter lipstick in shade DM me, which looks like that. grabbed another glitter lipstick in shade Hollywood Boulevard which I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of and I grabbed a lipstick in shade Mystic Moon, which is this gorgeous greyish, kind of a, a greyish beige, and again, I'm going to get a lot of use out of that one. It's weird, I used to do really, really bright lips and then like single colour eye makeup, and now I do like, really bright eye makeup and more nude lips. It's, been a complete change around for me. Right, the next thing I've got here is an Ofra Pro palette. And I managed to pick this up off of Depop for a very, very good price. It's got a rather large mirror in it. And then these huge Pro pans, look at that. So I'm looking forward to having a play with those. So I just put my I open my Amrezy palette next to it, my Anastasia one, show you the difference in size of the pans. So these are very much kind of um, dubious place sized. And this is the Bright Addiction palette. So I'm looking forward to having a play with that one. I also finally indulged in getting Latte 2 from Dominique Cosmetics. I've got um, the Lemonade palette and I've got the little mini Celestial Thunder that Shari sent me. Thank you Shari. Um, but I've been properly tempted by... I've had a little plastic cotton thing out now. I've been properly tempted by this because although it is very much a neutral palette, I'm loving these pops down here. So I just, I ended up giving in and buying it. I know it's a bit more neutral, told you I hadn't been feeling well. Uh, I finally, finally, when this first came out on Sea Colour, it wasn't available to the UK, it was only being shipped to America and Canada. This is Cherry 2, and this is actually a dupe of 
a Dominique Cosmetics palette. This is a dupe of berries and cream, so I'm looking forward to trying that out. I finally treated myself to this, managed to pick it up again off of Depop. This is the Luna Beauty Moon Prism Blush. And she looks like that. These two are obviously going to be too deep for me to use as blushes, but if I go light-handed I may be able to use them as contour or bronzer. So I need to have a play with those and see. But I've I've seen so much good feedback on those that I've been wanting to try it for a while. So when I finally saw it on Depop for a sensible price, I'm like, yep, get in there, girly. Um, I got myself a MAC Studio Fix in NW13, which is not warm. It's actually a cool undertone. I know, Mac are ridiculous like that. Uh, it doesn't come with this lid. It actually comes with... That black lid. But I bought a set of pumps from eBay. And put a pump on it. The ironic thing is, these are the pumps for... Um, Estee Lauder's double wear. So I've got an Estee Lauder double wear pump on a MAC foundation and then on my Estee Lauder double wear foundation I've got a MAC pump. Don't ask. Just don't ask. I also picked up a mini, well it's not a mini, it's a half sized Becca uh, first light priming filter because I've had quite a few of the little mini ones like this in subscription boxes and I love it, I really do um, and I'm so gutted that Becca are closing because they do some really lovely primers and some really lovely highlights so I grabbed myself because I'm not sure how quickly I'm going to get through it and obviously I don't want it going off I just grabbed myself a, a 15mm one of those that's obviously my three other pumps. I'm saving the lid for the MAC foundation because I can do the back to MAC thing where you take back six empties or if you've got like a lipstick that's gone off etc. Uh, take six items back to MAC and then I think you get to choose a free lipstick. So, And then they recycle it which is great. Uh, I picked up this e.l.f. Primer Glow Oil. Now, you heard me say earlier, I'm oily combo, so why have I picked up a primer oil? Because Robert Welsh said it worked well on him and he's oily combo. So I thought I'd give it a go. If it doesn't work well as a primer for me, then I should just use it as an evening uh, serum instead. Uh, I grabbed this Revolution Revitalising Caffeine Eye Cream to try because I finally I save lots of empty boxes for sending out gifts to friends and family and I've just had a box full of my butt. Okay, I'm going to have to be careful when I edit this that I don't show you my dress. Um, yeah, I finally finished my ordinary caffeine serum, so I thought I'd give the Revolution one a try, see what it's like. Uh, I've been hearing an awful lot that this number seven airbrush away translucent powder is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury, so I thought I'd grab that because. Hopefully we're going to be getting to the stage where we're going to be starting to be able to go places again. And it's always nice to keep a little pressed powder in your handbag for if you do get hot and sticky or you need to touch up your makeup. I got myself 
a set of colourful woolen different nail files. Not something I'd ever needed to keep in the house before, obviously, when I had my uh, acrylic nails, but since not having acrylics, I found that I actually do need those. Uh, regular viewers will know I regularly use my honey glue in strawberry sherbet for my eyes brows and they had a deal on so I've picked up um, a super hold honey glue to try in the summer when it's hotter because I get the feeling I'm going to need something a little bit stronger than just that once it gets to hot weather and I start sweating. Picked up a couple of Viseart palettes again from Depop. So I've got the Warm Edit and she looks like that. And I've got the dark edit, and she looks like that. And you can see the bottom row being a little bit smushed, which is why I got it for a really good price. Um, so yeah, happy with those. I've been trying to pick up the dark edit for quite a while, so I'm glad I finally got that. I picked up a Boudoir Noir from Colourpop. Well. Depop, but by Colourpop, which is this sort of yellowy, olivey, goldy kind of very me colour palette. Um, it does have a pressed glitter in it, which annoys the heck out of me, but there we go. And finally, something that I have wanted to try. For a long time but just couldn't afford to get it over here and nobody was selling it. This is JD Glow, this is one of their highlighters and it's in Synopsis. Let's see if I can get a swatch of that for you. So you can see it's a white with a like a blue shift. So yeah, that was my little min shush. That was my little mini haul that I did whilst I was feeling sorry for myself basically. Um, admittedly, a lot of those I managed to pick up from Depop, which was great. Saved me a hell of a lot of money on buying it new. Uh, and obviously, my PR from Gerard Cosmetics. Um, yay! So I shall let me know which of these things you want to see me try first, particularly in terms of the eyeshadow palettes. So just to remind you which ones that I have, she said dropping stuff all over the place already. But then are you really surprised? I've got the big Ofra Pro palette. I've got Latte 2 from Dominique. I've got the Dominique Dupe of Berries and Cream by C Colour. I've got Boudoir Noir from Colourpop. And I've got the Dark Edit and the Warm Edit from Viseart. So, let me know which of those you are most interested in seeing first and I shall do my best to get some films up with them appearing. So, nice little quick film for you today. Hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to wipe these off my hands before I end up wiping them everywhere. It shows you how good that 
lipstick is because this is my cellar water and it's uh, Lady Boss is still going. So if you need to know whether Lady Boss will last underneath the mask, yes she will. Right my lovelies, uh, that's it for this film. I hope you enjoyed seeing my most recent purchases, my most recent acquisitions. Um, as I said, let me know in the comments which of those palettes you're most interested in seeing first. If you want, you can list them all out in order for me. That's super, super helpful. If there's any you're not bothered about seeing, again, tell me that as well, because then I won't schedule them in to film with. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. If you're one of my 4F babies, double check you're still subscribed. YouTube are unsubscribing you still, but they're leaving you, uh, leaving my films in your feed, so it's not obvious you've been deleted. It's also worth double checking your notification status because they are uh, knocking everybody back to personalised rather than all, in which case. I don't know about you, but if mine doesn't say all, I don't get anything coming through at all. And that's not just for me, that's for all the channels that you follow. If you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. This is a much, much shorter film than you will normally get from me. Uh, normally my films are about 35, 40 minutes long, so you've got plenty of time to relax. Or you can just speed me up. Um, I hope you enjoyed it here and that you'd like to maybe see a little bit more join the 4F family perhaps super easy to do hit that red subscribe button then you ring my bell ring my bell and choose all notifications in the hope that you'll actually get sent some in the meantime, if you want to see more of the kind of things that I do on here, I've got a huge back catalogue as well as a huge backside. Uh, all kinds of different films. Uh, I'm sure there'll be some that you'll find more interesting than others, but there are at least a few, I hope, that will captivate your attention. And as I've said now for what feels like forever, Grab a drink, grab a snack, pick a playlist, put your feet up, get comfortable my darlings and just indulge in a bit of me time with a coffee and a biscuit. Right my darlings, as ever, all that remains for me to say is you'll stay fabulous and I will see you next time. Bye for now.